What's up YouTube? This is Slay Island and in this video I'm going to be going over my week 4 preview and predictions for all 10 games on this upcoming weekend. A couple things I use in this video to come up with these predictions. I have a pretty cool website that's called 2kanalytics.com and they have player stats, advanced player stats, team stats, uh, and advanced team stats. So you can uh, go on here and um, look at all the stats for players, sort by all different things, points per game, rebounds, um, assists, all that. You can go to team stats, advanced team, you get to see points per possession. They have a bunch of cool stuff on here, so I suggest you check that out um, if you're interested in stuff like this, which is, um, the website is 2kanalytics.com. I use this for all my videos. I'm also going to be using Bovada to look at the lines for the games. They don't have spreads, they just have money line, which means who you have winning the game, basically. Um, and for the first game, the Pacers are actually a minus 160, which means they're the, the pretty pretty big favorite. Minus 160 would mean that you have to put up $160 just to get 100 back. Um, the Heat are plus 115, which would mean you have to put up $100 and you get 115 back. Um, but going back to the game, Heat check taken on Pacers. The Pacers are sitting at 0-3, like I said, but they're a favorite for a reason in this game. Last time they played the Heat, they won by nearly 20 points. And this Pacers team is really hungry to, to finally get a win. I think um, they're going to move Wolf to point guard or actually let Guna run point guard. So I think the Pacers are going to bounce back and, and win this game. Uh, moving on to the next game, we have Warriors Gaming Squad taking on Celtics Crossover Gaming. Uh, let's look at the odds. The Celtics are a pretty big favorite, as you would... Um, expect minus 190 um celtics are sitting at two and two warriors are sitting at zero and three i think this is a pretty easy game i think celtics are are just a, a lot better team fab is going to be the best player on the floor arsenal um let me look at the stats real quick but i'm pretty sure arsenal uh arsenal leads the league in rebounds uh, yep with 11 nearly 12 rebounds a game so I, I don't think the Warriors really have that guy who's going to be able to um, push them over and get them their first win and I think they'll drop down to 0-4 with this all right so moving on next game I think this is the game of the night we have Jazz Gaming taking on Mavs Gaming both these teams are sitting at three and one both these teams feature a top three pick Dimes for the Mavs was number one overall pick obviously and uh, yeah I compete was the number three overall pick for the Jazz uh, let's look at the odds real quick Mavs a pretty uh, pretty big favorite um, yeah, that's basically what I would expect. Mavs, uh, I think the Mavs are, are going to win this game. I think it will be a, it will be a good game, though. Um, Dimes is a little better than Compete so far. He's averaging 20 points, 12 assists, somewhere around there. Compete's down near 15 points, 11 assists. Um, Dayfry also has been playing a little better than um, Mr. Slaughter. But those are the two big matches I would look for. Uh, point guard, yeah, Compete versus Dimes, and uh, the center match of Mr. Slaughter versus Dayfry. Uh, if the Jazz can shut down those two guys, though, they'll win this game. But I think that's very tough to do, and I haven't really seen anyone do that yet, so I have the Mavs winning this game. Moving on, uh, Saturday night games. So you have three games every Friday night and uh, seven games Saturday night. So June 2nd, which is Saturday. This is this is probably the game of Saturday night to kick off the, uh, kick off the morning. Pistons GT taking on Wizards District Gaming. The Pistons are sitting at 3-0, um, and oh, and the Wizards are 2-2, two two, I think. Yeah, 2-2. Two um, let's look at the odds real quick. Pistons GT, yeah, they're the favorite. Um, as you'd expect, they're undefeated. Uh, Pistons have been playing really good basketball. I, I have them winning this game, but the Wizards are not a. They're, you shouldn't sleep on the Wizards. They have one of the most explosive offenses in the league. Jin, Boo Painter, JT, all these guys can put up points and put them up fast. Um, and the Pistons play a very different style of basketball than the Wizards. They're more low scoring, uh, kill you down low, out rebound you, and old school Pistons basketball really. And uh, I think the matchup actually kind of favors the Pistons because the Wizards don't really have that defensive guy to stop Ramo down low. And I think that's, that's going to be the difference in this game. I have the, I have the Pistons winning. All right, moving on, we have Knicks Gaming taking on Kingsguard Gaming at 12 p.m. Uh, let's look at the odds real quick. Where is it? Knicks Guard, Kingsguard Gaming. Minus 190. That's that's a huge... Uh, the Kings are a huge favorite, which is kind of surprising to me. Um, the Knicks are sitting at 1-2, and two, and the Kings are sitting at 2-1, and one, I think. Yeah, 2-1. and one. 
This, this game is really tough for me to choose. I think this could go either way. Timely Cook is a really good defender, and I'm Adam the First, aka Kid Kuda, has been struggling a lot recently. So I think it's going to be tough for him to get anything going. Uh, the Kings recently have moved Moody to a rim protector, and the, the Knicks' main offense comes from throwing it to Goofy down low. So I think the Kings have a pretty good matchup, so I'm going to give the Kings a win. But I, I don't agree with the Kings being a huge minus 190 favorite, as they are on here. Um, next up, we have Grizz Gaming taking on Magic Gaming. The Magic are sitting at 2-2 two two after their two wins last week, and the Grizz are 1-3 after losing three games in a row. So let's look at the odds. Magic are a favorite, as you would expect, minus 140. The Grizz are even. $100 gets you $100. Um... I would. I think this is a pretty easy game. I think the Magic are gonna Magic are gonna win pretty easily. Uh, the Grizz are just have been playing awful lately. Lost every game by by ten points or more. And the Magic, I think they finally found their groove after those two wins last week. King Cam Royalty was very good. Um, Manny moved him to small forward, played very well in both their games. And Control, he struggled at times, but he's a, he's a good player. And, if he can find his way with the other guys, I think this will be a really deadly team. So moving on, the Knicks are playing their second game of the day. We have Knicks taking on Raptors Uprising. Raptors sitting at one and three. Knicks sitting at one and two. Let's look at the odds real quick. Uh, Knicks are a favorite, minus 165. Raptors plus 120. This Raptors team showed a lot of promise last week as they defeated the 76ers in a pretty big upset. They started running the five out with Kenny and it worked really well. He was dominating the post. He was dominating from the top in an isolation situation. They were just doing a lot of different things to get him to score. Um, the Knicks, on the other hand, like I said earlier, coming off a loss to the Magic. Um, I think this game favors the Knicks as they are an inside team and the Raptors don't really have that inside presence. This is the toughest game of the week to pick for me. I, I keep going back and forth. All that matters in this game is will the Knicks be able to slow down the Raptors offense? Because the Raptors will not be able to stop Goofy. So I have the Knicks winning, but it's going to be a really good game. Um, moving on. Kingsguard taking on 76ers. 76ers sitting at 3-1. and one. Kingsguard sitting at 2-1. and one. Um, I think that, yeah, this is Kings also the second game of the week. So let's look at the odds. Kings, um, the, the 76ers are a big favorite in this game. I have I have the 76ers winning this game and proving to four and one. I think they're just a more I think they're just a better team. Radian has looked like a great point guard all year. ZDS had a bad shooting performance last week, but he's shown throughout the year that he's a good shooter. Nudini, good shooter too. And um, the 76ers the 76ers weakness so far has been people killing them with their small forward and a five out. And the Kings don't really have that guy who would go five out in the small forward. Uh, so I think the 76ers just favors them a lot, and I think they win this matchup pretty easily. Uh, moving on to the second last game of the week, we have Cavs Legion taking on Bucks Gaming. The Cavs are sitting at three and one. Bucks sitting at zero and three. So as you as you should, could figure, the um, the Cavs are a pretty big favorite, minus two fifteen. And I think that's that, I think they're a favorite for a reason, and as they should be. I think the Cavs will win this game. Cavs have just a better roster up and down. I don't think. Anyone on the Bucks team is better than Sick. Uh, Savage looked like a better point guard than anyone on the Bucks. I, I think this is pretty pretty straightforward. Cavs are going to win this game. Uh, next up, or last game of the week, we have Blazer Five Gaming taking on Raptors Uprising. Odds: This is the biggest favorite of the week, um, as the Blazers are minus 305. And for I think that's a, for a pretty good reason, as the Blazers are my number one ranked team on my power rankings. So I, I don't see them losing this game. The Raptors last week showed up the five out with two stretches. I think it's going to be very tough for them to stop Walnut and shots. Nearly impossible. So I, I think that's pretty straightforward. Blazers winning this game. But um, so that's all for this video. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And um, I'll see you guys tomorrow with my recap video. I'm out.